Hey Beto, this is Bobby. I've created a video for you on what I found to help maximize your revenue for the restaurant. I'm gonna walk you through the three things that Google looks at when ranking websites. If by the end of this video you've liked what you've seen, shoot me a message and we can chat. Or if at the end you simply want to take the free action plan that I present to you, that works for me too. I just ask that you provide me some feedback on how you think I can make this video better. So I want to show you some cool things that I've found. Whenever I looked up Tres Betos Taqueria, I noticed that it's searched 50 times every month. Now that might not just be your restaurant because this is throughout the whole United States, but either way, I think that's really cool. Um, You notice that also right down here, you have quite a few backlinks or directory listings, and we'll talk about that in just a bit. So um, you also have what's called a Google My Business page. So what that is, is whenever you provide Google your information and stuff like that, sometimes you don't have to provide it, someone else will. So if you look right here, um, Sakiria's in Fort Worth, your number three, Right here is your name, and if you scroll down a little bit more, there is an option that says, this is my website. Let me see if I can find it. Did you see it? Did I pass it up? Let's see. It is, oh, right here, own this business. So it's kind of up top. And um, I know you asked another time, how do you change your hours? So once you own this, website right here then you can suggest and edit for it okay so the first thing i want to go over is content when google rank ranks pages they rank it with content on a regular website you need about 1500 words on the front page just so that um your website will be optimized with google so if you decide you want to go that route just let me know and i can do that for you right here on your google my business the max you can have are up to 750 words. Either way, you should have at least one keyword for every 100 words. If you scroll down a little bit right here, you see all of these images right here. I don't know if you put them there or maybe other people put them there, but with these images, you can um, have content by what they're saved as. Okay, when you search best tacos in Fort Worth, right here you see that it has about 500 and 90 clicks per month. And so that's where I got your top competitor site. It says Guajardo's. When you take a look at Guajardo's website, you see that it probably needs some work. Um, we can use just a lot of changes right here, but whenever I look him up through this tool that I use, I see that he only has 317 pages. I'm um, sorry, 317 words, and that's definitely beatable. If you decide that you want to create a website, then that's an easy fix right here. So whenever um, we go to Google and we hit the, we hit in the local keyword cost, called Best Tacos in Fort Worth, usually the first thing you see right here above the map is, um, ads um best tacos in fort worth doesn't have any so the second thing that it shows right here are are is the map pack and the way you rank on the map pack right here is whenever you have citations and citations is the next thing that i want to talk to you about what a citation is it's your name address and phone number as it's listed in google that also you can also say maps so i know you're asking hey bobby how do i rank in maps well do you know what but though that's what i'm here to show you how to do i have this other tool that i use right here it's called um, white spark white spark is a service that i pay approximately 30 to 7 dollars a month anyone can get it your monthly price is just based on what your plan is so right here in White Spark, we see that you have a number of 28 citations. 
and Guajardo's, your top competitor, is 34. If we have about 200 citations, then we can beat them on, we can beat them by a landslide. I also listed these other restaurants right here so that we can find the citations. If we click on the, their numbers right here, it pulls up a list of the citations in their directories that we can add your information to. If this sounds like it's easily done, it's because it is. The only thing is that it takes a lot of time. It's a lot of copy and pasting. But um, like I said, that's what I'm here for. Okay, so the third thing that I want to go over is um, backlinks. Backlinks are basically like a directory listing. So if we go back to the search of best tacos in Fort Worth, after the map pack, you see what's called the organic listings. You see right here in page one, I mean on the first option right here, it's Yelp, which is a directory. This is where you wanna be. And to get there, you have to have more backlinks reference in your site. So basically, um, backlink is whenever a site uh, from another company company lists your site within their directory. When this happens, that gives your site more authority in Google's eyes. It's almost like a popularity contest, but there's more to it than just that. The backlinks that you obtain, um, they work more effectively when you have relative sites linking back to you. Um, for example, if you have um, Yelp, that's right here, number one, linking to you, that would be more effective than if you have, say, a home improvement site linking to you because um, home improvement sites probably don't sell food or tacos for a living. So I wanna show you this other tool that I use. It's called AREFs, and the services are about $400 a month. Um, the same thing, anybody, can um, can purchase it. It's a great tool to find your competitors' backlinks. Right here, I pulled up Guajardo's backlinks. You see right here, they only have a total of seven backlinks working for them. That is not very many at all. Oh, sorry, hold on one second. Sorry about that. So with the seven backlinks, that's something we can definitely per, um, surpass. So when you click on this number right here, it'll take you to a list of every single backlink that they have, and we can go after them for our own. Um, there, we can also put in the other restaurants, see what backlinks they use. I have a list of directories and stuff that I can use to get your backlinks up. So um, to wrap things up, the things that we went over are content. So first for content, um, you need at least 150 words on, if you if you decide you wanna do a full on website, your Google My Business page, which is this right here, needs about 750 words, including the words that the images are saved as, um, which includes one keyword per 100 words. The um, the next thing was con was citations. You want to have at least 200 of so citations to beat your competition out and backlinks. You need re relevant sites that are pointing to your site to show Google that you're the authority. So if you implement these strategies today, you can be number one across, um, across Google. So now you have two options. One, you can take this information that I provided you and take the time to do this all on your own and I'm completely fine with that. Or two, if you want the most effective route and want to save yourself time, you can give me a call. Um, you have my number, it's 817-705-6286. But either way, I look forward to hearing from you and um, I'll talk to you soon.